Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is exciting. I have found a new way to apply my foundations and it is absolutely wonderful. I love it. I've had this now for a couple of months. I literally have put away every single foundation brush and sponge that I own. I cleaned them, I put them in Ziploc bags, and put them out of sight and have not missed them. Wonder what I'm talking about? Let me show you. Many of you from watching my videos know that I have been a huge Clarisonic lover since the Clarisonic was first uh, introduced. What, 15, 20 years ago, I've used Clarisonic to clean. I have used my Clarisonic to cleanse my face every single day. Every single day. And I love it. Well, a few months ago, Clarisonic gifted me the brand new Smart Profile Clarisonic, the one that does the lifting with the special uh, brush head. And of course, this is another whole story. But what they also introduced with this, and they didn't send it to me as part of the package, but it's a foundation brush that you can use to apply your foundation. And basically it just attaches and you use it to apply your foundation. See how soft the bristles are? Well, guess what? This is not what I'm talking about. It's not. I liked this. I, I mean, I listen, this is the bomb. Uh, but the brush, you, you, uh, you can use liquid with it and some creams work with it. I still saw streaks on my skin. I just didn't get the finish that I could get using a thicker brush head or maybe a beauty blender type sponge or even my fingertips. So this just didn't work for me. But look what I did find. And by the way, I purchased this with my own money. When I saw it, I thought, um, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's going to be any better than my Clarisonic uh, foundation brush, but I had not seen anyone here on YouTube uh, show this. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. My skin is aging. I mean, is it ever aging? And it has really changed. And so... I, I'm, I want to get the best possible finish that I can achieve uh, as my skin goes through this aging process. And so, as I said, I ordered it, bought it myself, and I, that's what it is. It's a foundation brush. The difference in this one and the Clarisonic, well, there are several differences, but this one, you can use any type of foundation on. You can see the brush is different. It looks like, and this just comes right off, it looks like your typical brush. So it's applying your foundation just like you would if you were using a brush. Let me read you some information about the brush. It's called the Sauna Blend, and it says, the Sauna Blend is the first of its kind makeup brush to use sonic technology to apply makeup. Faster and more powerful than rotating makeup brushes, the Sauna Blend applies makeup flawlessly at up to 400 micro movements per second. Easily sweeps on foundation, blush contour, highlighter, setting powder, and bronzer without any lines or streaks for natural looking airbrush like results every time. Plus, 
Sonoblend comes with built-in protection against micro, micro, microbial, I'm just not going to cut that blooper out, microbial contamination so the brushes stay cleaner, fresher, longer. And by the way, this brush is by Michael Todd Beauty. And when I was l really studying this before I purchased it, uh, on the site I looked at, there were 115 reviews of it, and 111 of the views were five stars. Five stars. I'm just amazed with it. Uh, I think one of the reasons that I love this so much is I truly believe in the Sonic technology. I believe, uh, that's why I love the Clear Sonic is because of the Sonic technology. That's why I love my Sonic toothbrush, because of the Sonic technology. And just like with your toothbrush or your Clear Sonic, the way you use this is important. I think the, the normal thinking when you would use this is that you would use it just like you use a regular uh, makeup brush, foundation brush, say. You're going to rub it in circles on your skin and press down to try to even out so that you don't have streaks and all of that stuff. But that's not true. The trick to having this give you that flawless airbrush appearance is just like with your toothbrush and just like with your Clear Sonic, you barely touch your skin. When I'm using this, I cannot see my skin move. It is barely floating over my skin. It doesn't matter if I do this or this or circles. As long as I, and I'm looking in my viewfinder so I can show you, as long as I just barely glide this over the tough. What I do is I pat my foundation on just with my finger. I'll put little dots like this. And then I go in with my brush and I go all over my face. I'm amazed at how much less product I use with this. I mean, I probably don't use a fourth now of what I used before I started using this brush on my face. It just smooths it out and I think it gives me an airbrushed look after I do my foundation. If I'm going to use a highlighter, I, I, I try to go from light to dark and so I use my highlighter. I'll, again, I'll just put a little pat wherever I'm going to put it and barely go over it and it just blends the edges out so easy. If I'm going to do a cream contour or a powder contour, I do the same thing. I put it on and then just I, it just blends evenly, giving an airbrushed look. If I want to contour under my neck, just a dot or two and go over. This works with liquids. It works with creams. It works with powders and Oh my gosh, does it work with powders. Those of you who know me know how much I love. I, I've used Bare Minerals, their original foundation, for a zillion years until I started my YouTube channel and I ventured out. And then I went to the Laura Mercier uh, foundation powder and I loved it. And what I found with that Laura Mercier powder is the harder and the more I bluff, buffed it into my skin, the better it looked. It really, it didn't settle in the line so much. It just gave a great finish. But I had to really buff it in to, to get that look. With this, I don't have to buff hard. Uh, same thing. Now I do, I'll dip that into the lid and get powder on the tip of it. And then I just go all over my face. It's this this for me is the greatest thing since sliced bread. The greatest thing since sliced bread. As I said, I haven't 
I have not used anything else for my foundation since I got this. That's how much I love it. And I use it around my eyes for uh, my under eye concealer, down the side of my nose, any place I need concealed. And it just blends it out. It just gives me a really pretty airbrush. Airbrush, that's the only way I can describe it. And it's fast. It, I think this is much faster than a typical brush or a beauty sponge uh, of any kind. It, you can go really fast with it and get a good result. I love it. Now, as I said, the little brush head pops off. What they tell you is that you really, because of that microbial protection on it, you really only have to wash it once a week. They tell you to take a tissue, at, let's say I use my foundation. And by the way, you can use your creams, your skincare with this, but I don't. Uh, and there's a hair, and that is probably the fifth hair that I have found since I've been using this that's come out. But they, what they tell you is that you can take a tissue after you've, say, used your foundation and just wipe it on your tissue and clean it off and then move on to the next thing. And then when you're finished for the day, just wipe it on your tissue and put it aside to use the next day. I don't do that. Uh, I've done it a couple of times, but I, I like washing it every single day. So as soon as I finish my makeup, it takes about two minutes because it's basically clean. I just stand at my sink and wash it. And obviously it's dry by the next day. Now, the sauna blend only comes with this brush and they tell you to replace the brush once a year. Uh, I will replace it more often than that, but the brushes are very inexpensive. I think they're $25. And if you only replace it once a year, that's very inexpensive. But I, I was looking, I thought, you know, I like my flat top foundation brushes. And I was wondering if maybe they made one. So I started doing some research and I found one. Uh, that fits, that goes with it, fits it, and this is what it looks like. I ordered it, again, I think it was $25. Now, it's much smaller, see? And I've used it, I've used it several times, but I think I, what I don't like is the size of it. Now, it works great under my eyes and in the corner right here, and in the corner of my nose, and around my mouth. It works great. And I could change the brush out, but I have found that really I don't. I, I don't use this nearly as much as I thought I probably would. I Actually, when I ordered this, I thought I would replace this one with this and use this all the time. And I think if it were bigger, I probably would. So that's my biggest complaint about this flat top brush. The only, oh, it charges with a USB charger that, uh, they send with it, and they tell you to charge it for at least three hours before you use it. So that's what I did. I charged it, and then I used it for probably two weeks before I needed to charge it again. And I have charged it maybe three or four times. Uh, I just wait until it dies. That's really, the, it. you know, it, it didn't even start to sound like it was going to die. It was just, I was just going along fine, and it died. So I finished my makeup. You know, I knew it needed charging, so I just finished my makeup with it like I did in the old days and uh, plugged it in and recharged it. It has three different speeds. Everything is, there's a little bitty button right there. And so it has three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. I like it on the fast. The only complaint that I have with this, and I am going to write the company about it, no one else has mentioned it, so I don't know if maybe I got a defective brush head. But when I use this brush head, it it almost makes a rattling sound. You can hear it. It's And at first I thought, I'm going to have to send that back. And then it occurred to me that maybe the brush head was not fitting down on here properly. 
So I took, basically, I tore a little corner off of a Kleenex and I laid it over the little stem that the brush fits down over and closed it down and that solved it. It was that the brush, the housing here, and this is plastic, was just loose. That's all. And so that's what I do. I put a little tiny piece of tissue over this and snap it on. And the reason I know it was the brush is because it doesn't do it with this one. So uh, this is tighter. I think I probably did just get a defective brush this part of. That's the only con of this. Uh, it comes in a lot of different colors. It comes in tortoise and pink and blues and greens and white. So I decided I wanted the black. Again, I want to say that I purchased this with my own money. Michael Todd doesn't know who I am from a hole in the ground. I would have sent it back in a heartbeat had I not liked it. But I fell in love with it immediately. And as I said, I fell in love with it to the point that I have packed up all of my makeup brushes and put them away. I mean, think about this to travel. You take one brush for your foundation, your concealer, your blush, your highlighter, your contouring, one brush. Some people, and eventually I may do it, I, I may buy multiple brush heads so that I can dedicate one to uh, powder foundation or one to uh, contour or one to highlighter. Yes. Best thing since sliced bread. Trust me on this. I'll put a link in the show me box, the description box below in case you're interested in trying this. I think you'll love it. Again, I think the key to it is do not bear down on it. Do not put pressure on it. Do, you know, do not use pressure. Barely glide it over your face and you'll just be amazed at the results. Again, I'll just love the fact that I'm not pulling and tugging on my skin. And at this age, I don't want any more sagging and loose skin than I already have. Patty approved. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that button, subscribe, and don't go, just go ahead right now. Go ahead right now, click the bell so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Don't forget to go out and be kind today. Be kind to at least one person. Be kind to all of those people around you and your family, your friends, your neighbors. You won't regret it. You make them feel good, but it sure makes you feel good too. It can lift your spirits in a heartbeat. Trust me. I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.